Cancer, come on in, put your feet up and make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. Uh, no wig today and uh, I am pretty sick. I've got a horrible cold, so <laughs> bear with me while I sneeze my way through this. Right, Cancer, what do you need to know about love? Bear in mind, my love, these are general readers, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want those extended videos. You can also purchase them via my website, jensenutara.com. Or if you join my channel, each has its own perks, but the best price would probably be from Patreon. Cancer. What do you need to know about that? Here we go, this is the one. Nope, nope, this one. There we go. Oh. All right, interesting. Bottom of the deck. Queen of Cups in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse can be quite a, uh, well, let's say it's someone who's, uh, it's not a great person in a relationship. It's someone who can be quite toxic. It's someone who can be quite needy. It's someone who can be pretty codependent. Excuse me. I'll keep that to hand. Uh, yeah, as it began, this uh, first card out, not great. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is like, take this how it resonates. It could be you or it could be them. I'm going to take this from the point. So how I'm going to say this is that this is somebody else who ended a relationship. But this, this could be from your point of view. So I'm going to say it from the other. You take it how it resonates with you. This is the one who ended a relationship. They ended a relationship because the other person kept crossing their boundaries. I feel like they, or you, tried to communicate over and over that they had these boundaries and they weren't they I mean it this time I kind of mean I mean it this is a boundary don't don't freaking cross it I feel like it's got something to do with perhaps um privacy nice cup of tea cheers a little bit to do with privacy um like looking through people's emails their phone things like that but not finding anything they're not they're not looking through it because there's um something to look through just looking through it because i, I sort of feel like they were damaged you know before and Like they've been cheated on or something like that so or let's say it's you okay let's just i just i gotta figure out how to say this so let's say it's you but it could be the other way around so you got cheated on so you want to keep looking you want to you want to prove that this person's a bad person so you're looking to find evidence that they are uh cheating on you being you know maybe the girl with their friends who are you talking to i want to know who you're talking to who like you know who are you talking to on instagram in your dms you know what's what's going on with you what pictures are you liking i want to know and it's all down to that let's say it's you but it could be where are you that you've been cheated on and you've been hurt and you're just really looking for like i freaking knew it i knew you weren't the good person that i you know that you're making out to be so they've said look no that's it you don't trust me you don't trust me 
And now you're all thinking they freaking hate me. Because they did nothing wrong. I don't think that there was anything going on. That's the thing. They've, uh, they've pushed you away now. Let's have a look. Or you've pushed them away. I sort of get the feeling that they um, tried to do everything to please you in this situation. Um, to make you feel like secure safe you don't need to check on everything that i do you don't always need to be checking on everything i'm fine you know i'm not i'm not i'm not cheating on you i'm not a bad person and it didn't matter i sort of feel like that they they're um they need a little time they need a little space that kind of thing the trouble is i think that now that they're having this little bit of time and having this little bit of space they they're moving on they're 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 doing what you thought they were doing when they were with you but they actually weren't they weren't cheating on you when they were with you uh they're not cheating on you now because they're not with you anymore but i think that this person is seeing other people now You're on a break. <sighs> and I'm with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You're you're like, Ugh! this is my person. They were. Oh, a lovely cup of tea. They were your person, but like it, it, it just ended. Boundaries were being crossed, and they made it very clear they this was not making them happy. So they're done. They're gone. You sort of felt like it was a short break, and we'll come back. But no, it's done. Anything else you need to know right now? Yeah, it's, it's... Take a look at what the problem is. That's... Hello, Gary. How long's he been there? Take a look at the problem. Take a look at the... what kept happening why did you keep feeling uh, insecure what was it about the situation that kept making you feel insecure and learn from it you know you can sort of ask yourself in the future all right this isn't about them why do i feel like this talk to yourself um sit with yourself for a minute and and uh, process what's going on with you why do you feel like this is it something that they're actually doing or is it, you know, from the past and your insecurities and you feel like you need to check up on what they're doing to the, so that you know that you're safe. I, uh, I get it. I get it. I, I was cheated on. My husband cheated on me with a lot of people. And uh, I kept finding evidence when I wasn't looking, which kind of made me want to look. There'd be things like, it was more sort of when Facebook was a bit more prevalent at the time, there'd be things written on his wall on Facebook and, and uh, we'd be out and we'd see people and they would react oddly to me like oh you're his wife oh and I was like well, what does that mean 
So there would be things like that that I was like, I feel like I kind of need to check up on this. And then that's when I found out. So yeah, there were actual things there that uh, the weird thing was he actually gave me permission to look because <laughs> uh, uh, he had an artist page, he was a musician, he had an artist page and uh, he went out on tour and he asked me to uh, update his artist page for him and so I did and uh, there in his inbox was <laughs> some pretty interesting messages uh, so yeah he actually even gave me permission to look and uh, didn't, I don't think he thought that I would find anything but yes I did and that was that so uh, I kind of feel like for you you need to s take a look at it so what is making you feel like that is there something about their behavior that's 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 triggering you that's the right word i will sneeze at some point guys what is triggering you about the situation and analyze that and uh i'm sure as hell gonna take that forward in my life as well because i think it'll be quite hard for me to trust someone you know whenever their phone gets a message it's like for instance like uh my mom and dad were here recently and my mom got a text and she's like, oh, it's a text from whoever. Didn't need to say that to any of us. But, you know, her phone went off and she got a text. She's like, oh, I got a text from. It's just, so you're like, oh. so you don't need to think about it. But when someone gets a text and they're like, hmm. you're like, well, or what? I'm curious now. Like, what, what was that reaction? What was the, oh, like, what, was just, what are you hiding? I get it. I get it. That's triggering for anyone. Like anybody. You just got to be like, all right, you got to have your secrets. You got to have your secrets. It's cool. I'm always like, oh, I got a text from blah, blah. It's always nice to be an open book, but not everyone is. So what's coming up in the near future? <sighs> I, I kind of feel like they're really very much now taking charge of this situation. Um, I think that you are coming in saying, look, I think it's time we had a conversation. I'm sorry about what I did. Let's talk. Let's, you know, let's work this out. And they're like, oh, no, it's too late to work it out now. I think they wanted to work it out before, but now they're like, no. Yeah, these are kind of interesting together. So this is a lovely card. This is, you know, nostalgia, being together, um, memories. But then it's like this sneaky behavior. And then Ten of Cups is a, a lovely, happy relationship. But it's, it's kind of saying that what we had and all this sneaky behavior you know and it's not even that they they were doing anything the other sneaky behavior was the not trusting and and uh you know encroaching on somebody's privacy that's been the sneaky behavior and it's like well that's that's it it's over i've, I've got to put my foot down and say we can't have that happy relationship anymore because i can't trust you whereas you were the person who thought that you couldn't trust them <clears throat> the thing is I kind of feel like you're like, whoa, with this coming up, this is like the best you can hope for. It's like conflict. And I, I feel like you're, you're sort of like feeling like, whoa, I want you to hate me. I just, you know, I wanted to keep checking that you were a good person and, and I needed to keep making sure. And they were just like, well, you know, why didn't you just trust me? I don't think they hate you. I actually really don't think they hate you at all. I think that they're just very disappointed <clears throat> that you didn't talk to them. Instead of sneaky behaviour and 
sneaking around, snooping around, reading emails, reading diaries, reading texts. I kind of just feel like, yeah, this is you. You're like saying, look, look, can you come back? Can can we talk? Offering them this, you know, there's no olive branch there, but you know, offering them an olive, olive branch, saying, like, I'm sorry. Can we can we talk? Can we? And there's there there's nothing coming from them. They're giving you the cold shoulder. I'm going to take this into the extended in a minute. I'm going to read this outcome first. But in the extended, I'm going to ask about them for you. How do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you in the near future? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. But this is the outcome. Nine of Cups. This is a wish fulfillment. Why is the Nine of Cups here for you for your outcome? I've got to tell you now, right, that if you go back with this person, you're going to find something new to be angry at them for. Just saying, right? Because they've had this time and they've had options and they've been seeing other people. That's going to piss you off. Just saying. So, you know, something... They haven't actually really done anything wrong. They're just like, well, you know, you're the one who crossed the boundaries. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm still not doing anything wrong, but you're going to be angry about it because you're like, well, you know, I wanted to work this out. Why is the Nine of Cups here for the outcome? I think I know what it means. <sighs> yeah. Exactly. So wish fulfillment, but not in a good way. When you uh, put negative energy out into the universe, you get negative energy back. That's science. That's not even spiritual stuff. Scientists came up with that. Positive energy creates positive energy. So you kept putting out there, I've got to keep checking on them. I've got to keep seeing what they're doing. That negative energy kind of, you know, ended your relationship. You know, it put bad energy into your world, made everything, you know, difficult. And that's what you ended up with. So when you start putting positive energy out there, you'll start getting it back. I don't think that you're going to end up being with this person again. And if you do, you're going to start being angry about something new. So you've got stuff you need to work on. We've all got toxic behaviours that we don't want to look at. It's true. I'm not toxic. Everyone's got it. The energy is gaining momentum. Now, is that going to be good energy or is that going to be the dodgy energy? It's something, you know, you need to look at. What is your toxic behaviour? And uh, how do you heal it within yourself? Where does it begin? And where does it end? Um, here we go. Fire by Bruce Springsteen. And now I wake up with the sheets so wet and a freight train running to live in love my head. Only you. I can't sing. I've got a cold. <laughs> you know the song. If you don't know it, please listen to it. Okay, I'm going to end this with take a look at your own behavior and uh, heal what needs to heal within yourself so that this is not something that comes up in the future. Okay, thanks for joining me. See you later.